How can we resist? How are you? That's all right. You know, this is such a great audience because I, <laughs> I always say when we come to Australia, we've been met so many times by people with open arms and legs, and they're all here too. <laughs> Gentlemen, have a seat. Okay, We've lost Jane's uh, microphone. No, I don't care. Okay. I'll put it on. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> We're talk. done. Well, the audience, there, there we go. Where do you put it? <laughs> See, I'd have plenty of room for about six battery packs in my cockpit. Really? Yes. That's true story. I've heard. I've heard you're very popular with the girls. Well, uh, no one with my face painted, well, it would be too hard to do. Now, now, how, long, how long do the batteries last? <laughs> What's going on? It's great to have you here in the full makeup, but I was one of the many who went to the big farewell tour last year. What's this? What is going on? Come clean, boys. Seriously, you know, we did this farewell <laughs> tour with the best of intentions because we thought it was time to say goodbye. And when we had everybody saying, don't go, that was one thing. And then when we had the Melbourne Symphony and some of the uh, distinguished people here ask us to come back and do this concert, it's just so spectacular and so off the wall it's like a perfect meeting of black tie and black leather so, uh, it will be groundbreaking and ground shaking mm -hmm. so Jean, tell us a little bit about the, the kiss symphony what, what's it going to entail well the kiss symphony is going to be deadly serious and we're deadly serious about it see how that makes sense these are I semantics like but i'm not anti-semantic i'll just keep going <laughs> Uh, this is going to take place on February the 28th at your wonderful stadium here, right here in Melbourne. 50,000 people who are going to eat, each of them are going to have a seatbelt because what we're going to do is we're going to combine the best of classic KISS with a classic symphony orchestra. 60 people playing violins and cellos in our makeup. Now, uh, now we're very be, serious about this. Will this there is be fights be over who wears what makeup? Please? No. Between no. us, yes. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> It's, it, you know, it, it really is so challenging because we're going to try to do the show in three parts. And the three parts, hi, I'm over here. And, uh, but seriously, the, the three parts are going to be the first part we're going to come out and play as you're used to hearing us, just kind of, you know, kicking a lot of booty. And then after that, we'll do an unplugged segment and we'll bring out maybe a string quintet and do a few songs and then we'll go to intermission and then bring out the uh, symphony orchestra for the symphonic sonic boom. I've heard that Mozart and Beethoven are both coming out of their graves <laughs> with fists up in the air, dancing in the aisles. Faces so you better painted. be there. Oh, Absolutely. It's going to be sensational. Now, Gene, you're distracting people with your tongue, which you've been doing all your life. <laughs> but he always I'm does that when Paul talks. <laughs> no, no. I have noticed. Oh, yeah. It's I'm been just going on for years. Yeah, I'm just trying to catch some flies. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed there is one buzzing around. Right. You know, <laughs> rumours I've heard, uh, and this must be, uh, be very amusing for you, Gene, that people have said that your tongue is one that's been grafted from a cow. You know, we've heard everything. <laughs> we've been doing this for uh, almost 30 years. I think it is 30 years by now. We, we all have our rumours. Uh, one of the classic ones is that uh, my tongue has been <laughs> grafted on from a cow. It's just one of those things. There are other rumours, of course, about the band, but not all of them can be spoken of on television. <laughs> not all of those ones are thankfully true, I would think. I would think. You may be one of them. Well, hey. <laughs> Who's your favourite bitch, Gene? Who's your favourite bitch? <laughs> it's me, Daddy, and you know uh, it. I just want to, I just want to say that. Just, <laughs> don't even go there. It's, it's one, it's if I was ever kept in jail here, oh, man. you'd want to be my cellmate for sure. <laughs> Thank you very much. To get, how hard is it to get the band back together for, for any kind of gig? <laughs> Nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Peter's here. You know, it's, uh, Peter's here, and that's, that a, that's a momentous occasion. <laughs> you know, I had to come back. I had to see you guys. You guys, it's great yeah. to be here. We missed you. We missed you for the farewell tour. So it's good to have you back. I would not miss this for anything. This is going to be great. As Paul said, it's going to be really, really cool. And so you better buckle up. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something that, that's never been done before. You know, some people say, well, there have been rock bands that have played with symphony orchestras before. But to hear our music and then to hear an orchestra mic'd up to, like, lethal levels, it will be something you've never imagined. People will be hearing it 
all over the country, and then we'll be doing a pay-per-view. But everybody should be there. You can either be there or you can be sorry, and you should be there. Now, uh, this is, uh, as you mentioned, 30 years for, for you guys. Is there something rewarding for you when you when you must see now a new generation of KISS fans when you look out into the yeah, crowd and there's yeah. parents I mean, with their children it's there? It's very heartwarming, especially considering that some of them might be our kids. <laughs> <laughs> He's speaking for it's himself. Possibly. Possibly. Yeah, possibly. possibly. Yes. No. One, one never fine. knows. No. I, I tell I you. I saw a kangaroo with a long tongue. We just wanted to say that uh, we rubbed uh, Elbows. hands. <laughs> Tongues. We shook hands with uh, Mr. Hopkins and, and Brett. That was cool. Brett and outside. It was a real thrill for us. Very we got cool. a real kick out of it. So, speaking of potato chips. <laughs> I don't know where we but, are. But, I mean, it must be strange for you guys when you meet someone like... I mean, I, I witnessed that in the backstage. Or meeting and, Anthony Hopkins. Well, because I, I, right. you guys, to me, you're probably the, some of the biggest names in the entertainment in showbiz industry. And I like to, him. Well, and you for you, to, and for you guys to see Anthony Hopkins and go, oh, my God, that's quite... Uh, it's quite strange. I think yeah. it's good to have heroes. That's right. You've got to have heroes. You know, when you Don't stop having people you look up to... Your head's probably gotten too big for your shoulders, and you know and that's the problem, is it? Is that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so short sure that'll never be a problem for me. Now, Gene, you're also coming back for uh, a speaking tour that you're doing as well. No. <laughs> Tomorrow, tomorrow we're all flying back to America because Paul because and I are going to be the Grand Marshals at the National Hot Rod Association in Las Vegas. Yep. And three days after that, I'm flying right back. And uh, we're not coming. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll get a chance to be as delusional as ever. I'll get to hear my own voice, voice for hours. Oh, the way it's meant to be. Well, uh, let's, let's give some hours. dates here. Oh, the Kiss Symphony, you can't miss that. It's a one-off concert with the 60-piece Melbourne Symphony Orchestra. Good gracious. And uh, Telstra Dome next year, Feb 28. So book your tickets now for that. And speaking in tongues, an evening with Gene Simmons. Is that the tour or is that something else? I'm not That's sure. Speaking it else. is. Oh, it is the oh, okay, excellent. It uh, happens... Uh, uh, next month, and contact your local ticketing agencies for details. By the way, it's oh. such an honor. We, we didn't Thank say you. that. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is a real honor, if we haven't said it, to be playing with the Melbourne Symphony. Oh. This is as great as great gets, and we're, we're looking forward to it. Cool. You should be there. Seriously, it's it's gonna be cool. we wouldn't want to miss that for anything in the world. Please thank the guys. For the <laughs>